Seven mark traffic warden question. This is a question that you might get in your interview, isn't it? It says the table shows some information about two journeys. Journey A, journey B, here's the distance traveled, here's the average speed. Obviously, you want to catch those people traveling too fast, isn't it? It says the total journey time is one hour. Find the value of x. Okay, the total journey time between A and B is one hour. Now, we have to check that the um, units match up, so the distance must be in kilometers because the average speed is in kilometers per hour. So, the time taken to travel for A and the time taken to travel for B must be one, okay? Now, what is the formula for time? And now here it says average distance, so it's not changing, it's just saying, look, you have point A, point B, you're traveling at the same speed the whole time, the average distance, uh, the average speed formula assumes acceleration is zero, so, we know that for this situation, distance is speed multiplied by time. Okay, some of you guys might remember a triangle. Uh, I don't like triangles. There's already enough you guys need to remember. So I just write this. I know this is true. I'm going to rearrange for time. Time is distance divided by speed. Okay, so time, time is distance divided by speed. So the time for A is going to be the distance traveled by A divided by the speed traveled by A plus the distance traveled by B divided by the speed, my bad, the speed traveled by B is 1, okay? Now, what was the distance traveled by A? That looks like a P. DA, the distance traveled by A is 15, okay? So we're going to get 15 divided by the speed of A, x, plus the distance traveled by B is 6, divided by the speed of B, which was x plus 4. All right, what is this a question about? It is about algebraic fractions, okay? We can fit algebraic fractions everywhere, mate. So, how do we solve it? We have 15 over x, just write again, 6 over x plus 4 is 1. Now, to solve algebraic fractions, you always want to get rid of denominators, okay? What does the denominator mean? It means divided by x. This means divided by x plus 4. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to multiply by x, and we're going to multiply by x plus 4. But because there's three terms here, we have to do it everywhere, okay? So to every single term, I'm going to multiply by x to get rid of that denominator. And I'm going to protect this, yeah, to treat it as one term. I'm going to multiply by x plus 4, okay? Now we can just see what cancels. Here the x cancels, an x on the top, x on the bottom. We're left with 15 lots of this. 15 lots of x plus 4. Plus, here the x plus 4 cancels. So we're just left with 6 times x, which is 6x, equals 1 lots of this, yeah, which is just this. So it's a quadratic. We're going to have to solve this quadratic. So we're going to expand everything. 15 times x is 15x, plus 15 times 4 is 60, plus 6x is x squared plus 4x. We can simplify this. This gives me 21. What's 9 plus 10? I don't think you guys would get that joke. You guys are too youths in it, generation beta and that. So we're always going to bring the terms to the positive x squared side. Yeah, so I'm going to minus 21x. So remember, this is a positive 21. So I'm going to minus 21x from both sides. So that goes. And I'm going to subtract 60 from both sides. Okay, so what am I left with? On this side, I'm left with 0 is x squared. We have 4 minus 21. Well, 21 minus 4 is 17. So 4 minus 21 is going to be minus 17. X minus 60. Okay, now we need to factorize this. This is a non-calculator paper. So to factorize this, we're going to have to look at the factors of 60. Okay, I'm going to do up here. We have 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20. Ah, there we go. I already know it's going to be 3 and 20. But 
even though you might have seen it straight away, it's still good to just write it down, you know, just uh, really see what the, all the factors are. So you have x and x, we know it's going to be 3 and 20. How do you make a um, minus 17 is if you have minus 20 plus 3, okay? Now, two things multiply to give you 0. So either x plus 3 is 0, which when you move the 3 over is minus 3, or x minus 20 is 0. When you take the minus 20 over, you get 20. Now, the question did say find x, okay? Now, x cannot be negative here because we're talking about speed. Speed is positive, okay? So x can't be this as x is bigger than 0. Therefore, the only answer is x is 20 for seven beautiful marks. So now you should be securing the traffic warden job. Let me know how you guys get on. And guys, make sure you like the video for more content like this and subscribe for more. Obviously, I also have a Reddit page. Yeah, so guys, there's a link to that in the description. If you have any questions you might want me to go through, head over there. It's, uh, we're growing this community and I'm already responding to some of your comments on there. So I'll see you there and my next video. Nice. <laughs>